What's up, Infected, and welcome to The Quarantine. Today I have another unboxing for you, the Leaving Earth Outer Planets expansion. Now, if you saw my previous uh, unboxing that I just did a second ago, right here, of the unboxing of Leaving Earth, you'll know pretty much what this game is. If you haven't watched it, I recommend watching it. I'm not really going to explain what the game is. I just am going to state that I am stoked as hell to try uh, and play it with the Outer Planets. Now, feeling this box, I feel like there's a lot of crap in here, so it's probably not going to fit in the main in the core box, and that kind of saddens me. Um, but we'll figure it out, I suppose. So here's the back of the box, and let's go ahead and just cut this open. I really hope I can figure out some ghetto way to get everything to fit in the main box, because I really don't want to carry two boxes around. So, oh. Oh, okay. That's where all the weight's coming from. So yeah, it all should be able to fit. Uh, maybe I'll put one of these pads. But anyways, uh, you got the outer planets, I guess, for new rules for, yeah, how you're going to set up the map. And then explaining, I guess, how the new rules and stuff work. Now, I have not played any of the outer planet stuff. So all of that is new to me. So what these are is for you to make it a little bit easier to try to crunch the numbers and, and everything, you know, what your maneuvers are and blah, blah, blah. So that way it's easier to keep track. And, you know, this here, if you're needing to do another rocket, you know exactly what's supposed to go here. So uh, it'd be interesting. I don't know if I'll use them, but they're there and that's neat. So we're, that's what all these are. They're all the same. That, that helped, that makes me feel a little bit better because I might be able to get everything to fit, but maybe not, I don't know. Uh, other than that, I don't really know what else this adds, to be honest. I know it adds, of course, the outer planets, but I don't know what technology it adds or anything like that. But it does add more little pieces here. So you got, looks like it gives everybody else a, what would that be, a fifth ship? I've never needed five ships, but I guess some people do, and I guess the more you play, of course, more laser cut. And like I said, um, some of these pieces, if you haven't seen that original unboxing, I, I definitely recommend watching it. Um, so we'll put that over there. Um, wow, neato. So let's, uh, I was looking into the box, sorry. Uh, so we got, I should probably stand up because it's a little easier, but you got uh, arrow braking, neat. And these are all new to me. I got, with the original Leaving Earth, I've played quite a bit on uh, tabletop sim. Uh, you got proton rockets, neato. Those are 10, uh, 10 bucks. I wonder how much the actual thing costs. Then of course, another card here for each color and then yeah the missions in these from the little bit that I've seen they work really different so you got like mission to Titan and I'm just gonna kind of I love the artwork in it. it it's so uh, it, it's like the 60s and 70s from what they thought all the space and stuff was going to be so I, I don't know I just I really like it like I don't know just the planet backgrounds look really pretty but anyways i'm not gonna sing that these are all missions i'm not going to actually show a lot of them very much i'll just kind of quickly go through so you can see the art so you got a whole bunch of missions and the missions here work very very differently so there's all those neato man i'm stoked to play this i might uh, my first game even though i've never uh, I, I've never actually won anything over a normal game of Leaving Earth. Um, and even then I have to fight tooth and nail because, uh, again, math is hard. So, uh, but I might still dive into this, um, without it. Uh, or anyways, and just go balls to the wall with full Leaving Earth. So, backs of all these. And uh, so, yeah, you just got, looks like, again, more variants of each one of these planets. Europa, so yeah, you get all the different Saturn and Jupiter, and Jupiter itself, Jupiter flyby, more space, Jupiter, and Jupiter, <laughs> Neptune flyby, outer planets transfer. 
Saturn flyby, Titan, Titan orbits, uh, Uranus, and then Venus. There's a, oh, to allow you to go basically slingshot from Venus to Jupiter. Okay, that makes a little more sense. I was about to ask, what the hell are they including a Venus? And I apologize if uh, I sound, oop, if I sound a bit out of it or anything. I'm a bit tired right now. I just had uh, a game group with some friends after work, and it's like 2.30 in the morning, somewhere around there. And uh, I really wanted to dig through this tomorrow morning, so I figured before I do that, I'd just do a quick unboxing. All right, looks like we have more parts here. So we got, uh, yeah, we got the different samples from all the different uh, locations here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, we got more s astronauts. Looks like maybe scientists up there. Yeah. Hmm. Neat. Then uh, looks like ion thrusters. I guess maybe there wasn't enough. And then we got um, explorer payloads. And so, yeah, it looks like, I don't know what that's supposed to actually do, but weird. And then it looks like more probes. You can never go wrong with more probes. Uh, Galileo probes. So it looks like, I don't know what the Galileo probe does. I, huh, whatever. Like, I see the um, radiation minus one, but I didn't think uh, probes were subject to radiation, but well, who knows? Uh, and then you got the proton rockets. They're worth 12, six uh, mass and 70 thrust. Huh. That's not bad. And then that looks like that's it for all the pieces. So we will take this and we'll actually just kind of put that there because after this video, I'm gonna try to combine everything into one box anyways. So, and I will probably actually, at the end of this video, if I remember, of course, uh, put a picture of everything in one box if, if I can. Um, looks like it's got more charts. Yeah, how ion thrusters work a little better. And then more charts, because where the game is very mathy, it gives you these charts here to, that way it, you can kind of glance at it and go, okay, with a Juno. Let's see, with a Juno rocket, with di if I have a difficulty two, the Juno can have one uh, mass payload, so maybe another Juno rocket or something. So, um, And then, I don't know how this works. Uh, yeah, you get a quick start here, normal start, and then final year, so it tacks on 10 more years as well. And it's something, from what I understand, is if you wanted to get to, uh, I don't remember what planet that is, but whatever planet this is, um, you would have to leave on a year, as you see here, sorry, brain stopping. You'd have to leave on a year that has that in order to actually make it that far. Um, because, you know, those planets are much harder to get to. You have to get to them at the right time, yada, yada, yada. But that is the unboxing for the Leaving Earth Outer Planets. Um, super stoked to play this one. Anyways, I hope you guys like the unboxing. Uh, I will see you guys next time in the quarantine.